71. Oh, somebody had uh, commented and they noticed the uh, the old red GMC sitting there. They wanted to uh, they wanted to ask if I could do a walk around of it and a little description of it. I talked about it a little bit in some of my other videos, but um, so yeah, this is uh, this is what we're doing. It's a 99 GMC Sierra V71. Oh, basically I uh, picked this up for scrap price. Mainly because it uh, had a nice smooth run in 5.3 come to find out the AC works nice and you know I like that the uh, people I got it from claimed that the uh, transmission had uh, gone said the transmission works no more well when I got there to pick it up I uh, put the jump pack on it of course fired right up did not even make one single sound or puff of smoke. Been sitting for uh, about a whole winter. Hadn't been run at all. And uh, so yeah, I put it in drive and uh, drove up on the trailer, but making some awful noises. So uh, once I got it home couple days later I uh, decided to confirm that it actually does not need a transmission the uh, fluid is nice and red and uh, it goes right into gear fine but what actually happened is uh, the transfer case on these they have a uh, kind of got like a chain in the back of the transfer case inside and uh, there's a little cog in there uh, transfer case is up there somewhere big stupid cross member in the way but anyway there's a chain back there there's a little sprocket or a cog in there and uh, the bearing wears out I'm driving it around a four-wheel drive and uh, starts to make awful noise usually they just make a little bit of noise and uh, and then you can uh, keep driving it but this one is uh, it's real bad in fact it uh, when they thought the transmission went uh, it's because it actually locked itself up and it wouldn't move because of that you know one of the teeth got caught up so that's what it needs you can see I don't know if you can see there we go the frame's been patched right there but somebody did a pretty good job at it Put a nice plate in there, welded it up pretty good. Other than that, it's not too bad for being a main truck. Rockers are starting to go on the bottom there, but that's uh, pretty common. This has just got the one door. It opens up here. The back. The interior is not too beat up. Very surprising. You know, needs a needs a cleaning. It smells like the cigarettes. Got the little seat back there.
this door has got a hinges got a little play on. Got 185 on it. AC is blowing cold. too much gas. Well, uh, moving back and forth and let you hear what's going on over there. See if we can get the, uh, So there you go. When I first uh, found out about it, there was a few things uh, I figured I could pick it up for uh, scrap price, and then you know I had some uh, some thoughts of just taking the, the chrome steps and the chrome power mirrors, and you know a few odds and ends, maybe even the bucket seats. I don't know, and uh, transfer them over to the uh, to the wife's uh, 01 Silverado um, but now looking at the truck uh, not so sure I don't know what do you think is it worth fixing I'm trying to locate a transfer case um, found one of course you got to drive an hour hour and a half to get it no junkyards around here really uh, they want a couple hundred bucks for it. It's a little bit of a job, with uh, especially with no lift, but it can be done. It's not the end of the world. Uh, you know, you got to pull off that cross member, and uh, uh, there's eight or so bolts on the uh, hold that case to the tranny, and you know, of course, the drive shafts and a couple connectors, and uh, she's out of there, but. This has got the um, the shift on the floor. You know, a lot of them that you find are the push button, like the Silverado. But this being a '99, it's got the uh, it's got the shifter for the four-wheel drive right on the floor here. So uh, not as easy to find one of those as it is the other ones. Um, so I don't know. Tell me what you think. Anyone have any leads on a transfer case? Let me know. And
of course, there's always the uh, the late night beer drinking thoughts of uh, taking the uh, five three out and placing it in the old seventy eight suburban. Oh, it doesn't need an engine or anything, but I mean, it is uh, the original three fifty. A little tired. You know, she's a little tired, but still runs good. I don't know, she's kind of cool, I mean, uh, probably expensive, be even cooler to uh, put it all in as fuel injected, and uh, have the AC in there would be uh, pretty awesome, but, that's just a dream, copper brake lines, yep, that's what happens up here in Maine, everything rots out. Well, same in New England, but uh, old timer was telling me that uh, a few years back they used to put some shit on the road that was mixed in with the salt mixture, some sort of a chemical, and it just just ate right at them. But oh, she's got a little shine left to her. Got the American racing wheels, a little leaky, you know, a little leaky. Not a bad truck. Could put a transfer case in it. And, uh, I could sell it. Or, I don't know. I could drive it around, but do I need another truck? I don't know. All my stuff, uh, except for the Blue Silverado, is uh, two wheel drive. You know. So there was thoughts of, uh, you know, it might be nice to have a four-wheel drive vehicle for the winter. But, I mean, uh, you know, these things will do everything you want them to do. But, let me know what you think. So, uh... Go down to those comments and uh, make sure you let me know what you think of this uh, GMC Sierra. What do you think I should do? Part it out? Fix it? Scrap it? Sell it? I don't know. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time. Later.